Hello everybody, Resonance here, and welcome to another Hearthstone deck review. Today I'll be playing a deck submitted by John Fist, and it appears to be some sort of Cthulhu Reno Rogue. During this series, I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on the card choices and playstyle to help you improve your deck building and understanding of the metagame. Without further ado, let's check out the deck list in the Collection Manager. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And yes, we have the John Fist Reno Cthulhu Rogue. This is a particularly interesting deck and one I'm really looking forward to playing. It's not a budget deck, mind you, but it does have a ton of synergy in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly go over the list. We're going to play one or two games of the deck. And then at the end, I'm going to give everybody my final thoughts on the list. So for starters, this is a Cthulhu deck. So it's built around these type of minions, which whenever you play them, you battle cry, give your Cthulhu plus two plus two. Uh, wherever it is, and then the idea is that you buff your Cthulhu, uh, so it's absolutely ginormous, and then you play it, and that's what wins us the game. That's our finisher, our win conditions, built around Cthulhu. If you buy just one of the Whispers of the Old God packs, you do get Cthulhu for free, and Cthulhu can make some excellent budget decks, of which this is not a budget deck, but it's a cool deck. We also have other cards, of course, like Blade of Cthulhu, you know, various uh, Cthulhu synergy cards in here, and Shadow Step is one of those things that actually goes really well with all of our Cthulhu cards, uh, particularly Blade of Cthulhu, which we just saw there. Uh, this deck also seems to have some like early board control tools with things like Doomsayer, which I like to see, Sunfury Protector, kind of keep us alive, some various removal spells. Uh, seems fairly balanced. Uh, it's got a nice little board clear here in Dark Iron Skulker, but I think one of the most interesting things about this deck is that it does so many things at the same time. So it's a Reno Cthulhu Burgle Rogue, <laughs> because it also runs, of course, Swash Burglar, which adds a random class card to our hand from our opponent's class. Undercity Huckster does that when he dies. Burgle gives us two of those as well. And then the reason that we're running uh, all of those cards is because of Ethereal Peddler, which reduces the cost of cards in our hand from, uh, from other classes by two. So... And we also have, you know, Nexus Champion Sarad to generate a spells from other classes, and Nefarian as well, so this deck is just nothing but synergy, oozing synergy everywhere. And of course, uh, it's also a Reno Jackson deck, because uh, the idea is that we have very strong late game, and we have a lot of combos and synergy, but we need to survive to get there, so that's why this deck runs one copy of everything, because uh, Reno Jackson, if we have only one copy of every card in our deck, then he does indeed heal us, so... I do like this deck. My first impressions are that it seems really strong and really fun. Uh, however, my main concern is uh, survivability and consistency. Uh, perhaps this deck's trying to do too many things at once, but we're going to find out after playing with it, and perhaps it does not actually have enough survivability. I mean, we got Sun Fury Protector and whatnot, some taunts, but no real heals outside of Reno Jackson, so I expect this deck to get pooped on by Hunter, but we'll, we'll have to see. I, I really like this deck. It looks fun, so... Now let's give it a shot. Alright, let's play some of that John Fist Reno Rogue. Now, <laughs> it's possible that I get wrecked here, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying this regardless. As I've yet to actually play this deck. I think originally my intention for this series, and still my intention for this series, is uh, to primarily use it as a way to help out new players with a limited collection who are trying to learn Hearthstone, so... Um, you know, generally I think I would prefer to be reviewing players' decks that really have, you know, not too many, uh, uh, like super expensive cards and I can help them build, like, solid budget decks. This is not a budget deck, but a cool one that I, uh, got submitted. Um, the, a few of these are not gonna be budget decks, but I think after this I'd like to go back to doing that. Now, in terms of early game, I think I'm looking for some two drops. Uh, I feel like Brand Bronze Beard's kind of a combo piece. I could keep SI7 and Cthulhu's chosen, though. Gives me a turn three play, a turn four play. I'm going second so I can coin this out uh, to get the combo because that's whenever I played a card already this turn. Oh, this is the, okay. There we go. This is a good starting hand. Nice. It's card X Y Z. See how this goes. Uh, if you would like to submit your deck list to me, I do live stream regularly on Twitch TV, and that is the way to do it. So if you head on over to my Twitch page, you scroll underneath video player there, you can find my live streaming schedule. I do update it every couple of days, so keep your eyes peeled. Also, if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you will get updates on when I'm streaming next. So, just wait until I do one of those Hearthstone streams where I say I'm doing deck reviews, and then you can submit them. Now, I don't do them extremely often, but it is something that I like to do on the side. And of course, thank you so much for those of you who just take the time to support the channel uh, by you know, showing your support for my non-Age Vampires 2 content. Uh, helps, helps with the longevity of the channel a lot. 
And it looks like this fellow is playing very slowly. He might be AFK. If I win this game for free because he disconnects, then we're going to count it as a win. God XYZ is probably in the bathroom or on the bus. Oh, he's highlighting his face, or his game has crashed and it's bugged, and he will rope all the way without ending the turn. Oh, 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 he's back. Oh, but too late. Brutal. Oh, we're just going to pass here. I don't think there's anything I really want to do. I must choose. I'm almost out of time. Oh my god. Well, John Fist, if you, if you watch this later, didn't realize this deck is that good, but it is that good. Well, I'll coin SI7 his face, uh, since he appears to be, like, not actually here. And it gives me something on the board. I like it a little bit better than Coin Disciple of Cthune. At least this way I got the combo off. Gives me a good body. Disciple of Cthune the next turn. Cthune's chosen the turn after. I, it looks like his game's bugged, and he's just, like, not able to play cards, so... Uh, Lights out. We're leaving it in the video, and we're playing another game after this. 100% <laughs> win rate Cthune deck. Tearing up the ladder. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that this this is, like, more of a fun list, because uh, I feel like it definitely does way too many things, um, but I feel like it would actually work a somewhat reasonable amount of the time, uh, despite that. This deck strikes me as inconsistent, but cool. I think in general with the, uh, with decks, it's important to have, like, a... I guess the lesson in this deck review is it's important to have, like, a clearly refined theme and to, like, build around that theme rather than having your deck do way too many things at the same time. I feel like a lot of, uh... You know, a lot of newer players at Hearthstone tend to gravitate towards, like, having their deck be like a Swiss Army knife, and then what you end up in a situation like that is... Your deck does a lot of things poorly rather than one thing really well. <laughs> so it's normal for your deck to sort of have like weaknesses or like only certain things it's able to do. Um, yeah, all right, it's a free win. Feel the pain. Well played. Another quality game of Hearthstone. Some fun and interactive gameplay right there. All right, let's do it. Kind of early on in the season, so thankfully pretty low ranked. Hopefully this means that... Uh, <laughs> I honestly, like, in the current metagame, I don't know how I would be able to do deck reviews anyway if I was higher ranked than this. Mostly I've just been playing Arena recently, but I do love me some Constructed. It's really just meta dependent right now. I'm not a huge fan of all the shamans. Ah, we're playing against Destroyer 233. There were 222 destroy 232 destroyers before this, and they all fell. Alright, we're playing against Warriors, so I could keep Burgle and be, like, super greedy. I'm gonna do that purely for fun reasons. I do not think it's right to keep Burgle here, but I'm going to do it because I'm playing against a Warrior. It could be really slow, and I would like to see the Ethereal Peddler Burgle side of the deck in action. Oh god. Prince Malkazar. Oh man! Can we destroy Destroyer? Find out next time. Oh my god, if this is a pirate warrior, I, re I regret everything. As I, uh. If this is a pirate aggro warrior, we're about to. We're about to. feel the pain. Go with Beckoner of Evil here. I think Dagger Up is okay, but worse than this. At least this, like, contests the, the one damage weapon and the one one body. Like, he doesn't have a way to remove this immediately. Uh, Undercity Huxter's two health just means it dies. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have, like, Brain Bronze, Beer Channel Caster. This deck is just oozing synergy. Do I want to. Hero power to kill some dudes. Look, I'm definitely trading. I think I want to remove the pirate in case he runs that card uh, that if he has a pirate, it like, gives his weapon plus one plus one. Hey, hey. Want to buy a funnel cake? Bash. I knew it. That is exactly the type of card the destroyer would pick from Discover. Discover. 
him in his cupcake god back. Well, this is crappy. We never want to play this minion on curve. Give me something good on the Burgle Mobile. I'm not eviscerating his face. Common new player mistake is by you know, using your removal, your damage spells to. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Using your removal spells on your opponent's face in the early game. Uh, you know, don't eviscerate their face unless it kills them. Save it for minions. Same thing, like, Arcane Missiles turn one. And if your opponent has an empty board, is like, almost always wrong. Same thing with the Holy Smite the enemy face. You want board control. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that, so we're just going to start with uh, Swashburglar. Swashburglar and a sparring partner sounds so... This is a weak turn. I don't want to eviscerate that. I don't want to give him anything, but I, I keep getting spells. Give me more minions, please. I mean, I I can taunt his guy or I can taunt my guy, but I think I want to taunt his guy. So that way he can't use his hook to kill this. Um, and then I think we just hit Lorewalker Cho. Hopefully my sparring partner lives this turn and then I can remove Lorewalker Cho. Lord Walker Cho's thing is uh, whenever a player casts a spell, it adds it to the opposing player's hand. It's really fun uh, to use when you're playing against your friends. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think it was right for him not to use that weapon charge, so. Wood on him. I think we will start by killing the Lord Walker. Unguard. I don't want to give him any of my cards. Um, now what do we do? I could face the Shambler here. <laughs> it's an interesting choice of Taunt Minion. I, I feel like this is going to be like one of the weaker cards in the deck. Uh, slam doesn't really do anything here. I can like slam eviscerate that. That's not bad. I do kind of like slam eviscerate. A tango. A tango. Commanding shout. Man, I love Hearthstone. This game is so much fun. I think, like, uh, one of the reasons why, like, a lot... Of oh, my God, Cleve. I think the main reason why, like, some some people don't really, like, enjoy this game is because, like, they try to treat it as something it's not. And, like, while Hearthstone does have, like, a very competitive strategic side to it, it's also very silly and has a lot of luck, you know, compared to poker. Um... And it's something that I use to unwind after a long, stressful day of work. But if you were looking for the most competitive game in the universe, this is not it. It's competitive, but it's not that competitive. Okay, well... Um, I'm probably going to play something and then uh, uh, SI7 this guy. Uh, can't Vecklor because my Cthulhu's not 10 or more attacks. So we're probably just going to, like, shield block. Play this dude. This guy's toast. Here we go. Nice. Hmm. Ah, oh, that card's super cool looking. Smart of him to save his weapon charge? Also a common mistake that a lot of new players make is they. Waste their weapon charges hitting the enemy face. You want board control. Board control, my friend. Okay, this is actually kind of bad for me. Uh, obviously not going to reno this turn, even though I can. Uh, Doomsayer would just die to Obsidian Destroyer. I mean, what I can do is I can, like, Doomsayer and then Shambler it uh, to prevent him from, like, just killing the Doomsayer immediately as a way to remove that, because I actually don't have a way to remove this. Mm, yeah, this is this is not the type of turn I'm a huge fan of, but uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I really just need this thing removed. It's gonna generate so much value. Well, actually, no. Next turn, I can just Blade of Cthulhu it, so maybe I just don't care. Yeah, maybe we'll just save the save the Doomsayer. This at least gives me some, some health. Yeah, maybe I just played a Cthulhu it. Eh. It's considering, like, protecting the Doomsayer, but maybe that's a little too defensive. Yeah, I can 
this Blade of Cthulhu is going to be fine here. Wow, he's just getting crap legendaries. <laughs> Ooh, this is great. I don't usually get, like, mad when my opponent gets, like, super lucky. I, I usually find it, like, really funny. You never know what, you never know what's going to happen in Hearthstone. Okay, well, I feel like I'm probably Blade of Cthulhu this dude, but at the same time, if I Blade of Cthulhu this dude... It doesn't help me at all. Uh, yeah, he's gonna keep spawning scarabs. This is just so annoying to deal with, though. So, I, I think I have to remove that over the Storm and Champion. Okay. So our Cthulhu's getting a little swole. I can't use my dagger to remove that anymore. Now Nat Pagel can attack! Oh, no! I might actually save the weapon charge here, because I'm probably gonna play Nefarian or something next turn, so I might not dagger up at all. I don't think it matters if I hit anything. Okay. Prince Malchazar is a really good card if you're a new player with a limited collection. Storm and Champion is also a really good card if you have a limited collection. That and, like, Sentient Shield Master 1. If you guys are new to Hearthstone, like, I definitely encourage you to check out my uh, tutorial. Should help out a lot. What now? Man, this is game of snazzy music. Destroyer is in the think tank. What will he do? The audience is at the edge of their seats. Howdy, says Ned Pagel, before he attacks. Sustaining three damage to his face. Ned Pagel is injured, but not dead. Oh, Battle Rage. Oh, man. Things are getting a little dicey. That's a card I kind of like to see, but uh, does that help us that much? If I assassinate this, I can actually kill Nat Bagel with my hero power, which is kind of good, right? It's just, what if he has something bigger? I mean, I could Vecklor here, but then I, I, I run the risk of him just drawing too many cards, right? And that's just bad. But assassinate here almost also feels bad. You know, what are the odds he has something bigger than this? Like, incredibly high, yes. I think I like Bran... I think it was Bran Bronzebeard. Come, little ones. I'm gonna hit Nat Pagel. I'm tired of his shit. Maybe I should have hit him before. The thing is, is uh, it's, it's difficult to know uh, be, whether or not I would have been, like, daggering up again or what I would have done until I saw the board state. In retrospect, I think it's easy for me to say I could have daggered Mr. Pagel. Ooh. All dimensions, all realities are open to me. I hear the music, the medivas, the party, the night is my night. Okay. Mr. Malkazar. It's really hard to play Hearthstone when I'm actually, like, talking and trying to commentate. So much pain. I think we do this. Oh my god. I can commanding chef. Feels good, man. Check this out. So much pain. Good night, Mr. Pagel. Do I Shadowcaster this guy and get another Vecklor? Because that sounds really fun. I can Shadowcaster Reno, but I really feel like I'm not going to need to do that. Like, against this guy, so. This is the one that. This is the right one, yes? Okay, good. Shadowcaster this one and feels bad, man. I don't think I will play the Vecklor again, though, this turn, because I want to make sure that I don't get brawled. I don't want to overcommit here. I, you know, he could very easily have brawl, so we're just gonna we're gonna be real safe. Mm hmm. Well, 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 Destroyer, what will you do? 
It looks like you will ask Ax Technolash a question. Send me back to work. Okay. I feel like every game would be better if they had little voice lines whenever you played cards. That's what Magic the Gathering needs, man. When I play Friday Night Magic, I need my cards to have their witty dialogue. Well, now we got this cute little mini Vecklor. He didn't brawl. I don't even know if he has brawl, so I, I could have potentially played that other Vecklor. But I don't know. Uh, Nefarian uh, Twamper Vecklor sounds pretty good to me. That's not going to mill me, right? No, I'm fine. I'm going to do that. Priest. The light serves me now. I love this. I mean, this is this is a close game. He's got he's got cards. He's just been playing cards. After all, isn't that what Hearthstone's about? Two dudes, thirty cards, pressing buttons. We don't run Fan of Knives, do we? Do we need Fan of Knives? I think we do. I don't know if uh, just Dark Iron Skulker is enough. I don't know if we... Okay, look. If we wanted to make this deck better, I think we probably cut, like, the Burgle stuff from the deck, and then we just run with, like, a Reno Cthune. Or we cut the Cthune crap and we focus on, like, a, a Reno Burgle thing. Like, I feel like we... Yeah, because I kind of want Fan of Knives. Uh, do I take five? Oh. This is when I, I start to play things out of order because this game's been going on so long and I have no attention span. So I'm going to start with this. Because I need something unusual. I'm going to do this. En passant. We're going to take a damage. Take five. If he brawls me, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> right, I just do that because I, th I think... Brawl's incoming. I can feel it. I can feel it. Brawl me. Do it. I dare you. Yeah, it's just nice to really have some fun, like, recording and streaming again. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like... I always thoroughly enjoy myself when I'm doing something like Hermelo, Prismata, Hearthstone, etc. Speaking of which, I I hear Prismata's coming out at some point in 2016. Don't hold your breath, but when it actually comes out, you can expect me to do some stuff on that. If anyone remembers that game. Oh, alright. Uh... Jimmy! Are we doing this? I think we do this. Okay. Do we heroic strike? We use this to remove like a huge minion, but I really feel like that's just not good. I really don't care about my health total because I have Reno Jackson, so I'm just going to do this. So we'll just do this to remove that. I'm just going to remove this. It's probably better for me to Sarada first if I was actually going to do that. Am I going to Sarada this turn? Probably. Will I Finley this turn? Probably not. Whatever this whatever this gives me, alright. Oh yeah, okay. I probably should just rot it first. But hey man, doesn't matter if I get low. Maybe maybe I maybe I actually would want to save a lightning bolt over the heroic strike. Just because I don't want to end up taking too much damage by accident. I'm gonna get executed. It's rod. Yeah, so maybe I would want to save this. Doesn't really matter. I only got a low-cost spell because I uh, checked from Sarad last. Whoa. He's not playing around Reno Jackson. Which, at this point, I think he should be... Yeah, okay. I, you know, if I had eight cards left in my deck... Well, see, there we go. This is why we save the Lightning Ball. See, good things happen to good people. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Uh, let's, let's, do the, let's do the ball.
Do I want to swap hero powers at this point? I mean, maybe. I, what am I looking for? I, I do kind of want the rogue hero power for now, right? Either that or, like, the paladin one. Something really... I, do I need Finley? Like, what do I want to see from Finley? Uh, priest hero power, warrior hero power, maybe, but in this matchup, no. I think I would want, like... I, I, I think that the rogue one's better than fire blast in this case. Well, it depends. No, I'm probably daggering up every turn now, so... Really, the paladin one is the best one versus warrior. Kind of overwhelm him. I guess since he is life tap and not uh, not the hunter, uh, not the warrior one, I could just like take a hunter one. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I want to swap. Probably do. Play Finley next turn. I think this guy's dead. Uh, I will play Reno next turn just for Bjord control, because I can always like shadow step him back. I don't know. That, that's super cute. I love the shadow step in here. Uh, I feel like you can do something really good with like shadow step, maybe Reno Jackson, Blade of Cthulhu, and whatnot. You can shadow step an ethereal peddler, but I don't know. I must choose. I must choose. Oh, what? <laughs> that explains a lot. I'm not playing around Reno. He's not playing around Reno. I Wumbo. He she me. Wumbo. Not assassinating that. What lurks in the depths? What lurks in the depths? I'll take a new hero power. I mean, technically, this this makes Brawl worse for me. But... Basically, at this point, I'm just not playing around Brawl at all. Say the last charge of this weapon. I, I, I think that that it might have been better for me, you know, to not play those two just to play around brawl a bit better. But you know, maybe he doesn't have it. I, I feel like he's so deep in his deck that I would have expected to see brawl on this. But also, this is a really long game of Hearthstone. Good lord. That is a good assassinate target. So we're doing that. I am not going to play the Barnes though. Because I'm playing around this imaginary brawl he does not have. I will save the last weapon charge because I can no longer dagger up. Because Valera has joined the Order of the Silver Hand. Well, well, well. Question is, what now? Hmm. This is men. Maybe I would make a cut here. I don't know. He is at seven HP. He has 10 mana. It's either concede or brawl, my friend. You see, this is like the game of chess, and in the game of chess, Kiff, you must never let the enemy see your pieces. Well, do you believe? He just hropped. Oh, that is a good way to end the game. Nice. I really wanted to reno this game, but uh didn't really get a good opportunity to. I'll take it. Boom. You wanna get out of rank 20? Play this deck. It only has like eight legendaries or something like that. Nice, nice. Well, okay, so, uh, again, I, I gave my thoughts on this while I was playing, but uh, deck list is actually solid. Um, I think that, it, obviously, to anybody, that this deck would run into some uh, consistency issues, considering that it has, like, three different archetypes of things in there, and, you know, as a result, you can't really 
fit like some staple rogue cards, uh, you know, like Van of Knives. Uh, I don't know how you would put that in. Definitely a fan of knives. I don't know how you would fit that in. Uh, there's no real like healing. I would like to see an Earthen Ring Farseer, maybe. Uh, it's just that I don't think that there is a room for an Earthen Ring Farseer. Uh, there is a decent amount of survivability in the deck regardless, though, uh, you know, with things like Sun Fury and whatnot. I would say the worst card in the deck is probably Faceless Shambler. I love this card in general. Don't get me wrong. If there's any person in Hearthstone that would defend this card, I would do it. I'd take a bullet for that face. It's just that I don't think we run enough big bodies for this guy to actually be good. Like, if you think about it, Copying Cthulhu's Chosen sucks too, because you don't get the Divine Shield, copying Barnes, it's a little too small, lots of, this is, this is awful to copy, like, we have some small bodies, we do. We have some big ones, but they're not big enough, this is only a 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, five, five, now we're getting so this is bad, okay, you know, really like, this is awful too. This is really funny with Cthulhu though, and I imagine that's why it's in the deck, um, I just feel like if we're gonna cut any card, it's probably face the Shambler. I don't know what we would replace it with. Uh, maybe another Taunt Mini or something to keep us alive. Um, I could very, very easily see the uh, Cyclopean Horror maybe uh, being a thing. One of the most ugly cards in Hearthstone. Could be this guy. I don't know. Could be a Defender of Argus. Could be nice with our, with our Shadow Step synergy. I have not to let me select this guy. Um, yeah, those are all thoughts. Uh, not exactly sure what else you would run in here. I also feel like there are times when I feel like there's not necessarily enough removal. I mean, maybe you cut this for, like, a fan of knives. Kind of make the curve weird. This deck tries to do way too many things at once, um, which I think dilutes the power of each of them. However, it works surprisingly well. And honestly, this deck is pretty good. Uh, it's really fun. I really enjoyed playing this. Uh, I think that everyone knows that the most competitive version of this probably only runs like either Reno Cthulhu or like Reno Burgle or something like that, or maybe like Burgle Cthulhu, like not all those things at the same time. But all of them at the same time work surprisingly well. So, yeah, major props to John Fist. This deck is not only fun, but surprisingly effective and not as inconsistent as uh, one would think. So, yeah, overall, solid deck. Um, I like it a lot, and of course, let me know if you guys enjoyed watching this video, if it was helpful to you in some way. As always, your feedback is very much appreciated, and I'm looking forward to doing more Hearthstone content, Age of Empires 2, and just stuff for a wide variety of games. So again, thank you for your support. Feel free to check out my Twitch page, go there, scroll underneath the video player for my schedule, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're looking for more Hearthstone content, Age of Empires, stuff for other games, you're in the right place. Feel free to check all that out on the YouTube channel. i got plenty of videos and tutorials there for all your gaming needs. Alright, so, we'll be back in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.